What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Chronic Gamer. My name is Matt and today I'm going to be watching episode 50 of Yu Yu Hakusho. That's right, we're getting a double reaction of Yu Yu Hakusho today. Um, in the last episode we had uh, Genkai finishing up her fight with Shishiwakamaru. Um, she was able to defeat him by reflecting his attacks against him and absorbing his energy which was awesome. Uh, and now we're going to have a fight between um, the real behind-the-scenes team leader. Uh, I'm forgetting his name, um, but he's an old dude. And apparently he helped all the other members of his team get uh, their powers or whatever. I, I'm not sure what that means. But uh, Kulabar is back. He's ready to fight. He's ready to make up for that loss that he just had. And uh, I can't wait to see what happens, so I'm going to get right into it. Oh no, who are these people? Don't tell me these are just spectators who left the stand. Why don't you drop the dead weight and come with us? If it isn't, you're a meshy. You know what this means for us, don't you boys? It means all those years of avoiding steady employment finally paid off. Once we whack your meshy, they'll make us into heroes. We can have anything yeah, okay. we want. Here's to glory! A yo-yo? Wait a minute! It's wrinkle and chew as well! Nice! Am I hallucinating? Or is that Jin and Toya too? Um, yep. Excuse me. Stop treating me like a baby all the time. I'm not a kid any... More. <laughs> he is so whipped. I see you've domesticated our mate nice and fine, Missy. We'll leave you two alone to keep on having your naughty. <laughs> Why is that all anyone thinks a boy and a girl can do when they're alone? <laughs> Damn. She's blushing hard, though. I was gonna give you a senior discount, but now it's spirit time. <laughs> Come on, Kuabara, let's have some better strategy than last time. A weapon like that must use up a lot of energy. Don't burn yourself out too quickly now. <laughs> what? It might help if you aim for me. <laughs> oh, snap, what the hell is that? Is that supposed to scare me? Spirit Zone! I can't Wait, what the hell just happened to him? On his own. He is a first-class fool. Agreed, a fool and a moron. An exciting turn. Auntie's like Kuo Bar and I can't disagree with them. Who knows what's planned for this boy in a bubble? Hey, let's get out of here, stupid trickster. Don't worry, this is going to feel something like Shishiwakamaru's Cape of No Return. You do remember what that was like, don't you? After all, that wasn't very long ago, and it's tough to forget being <laughs> transported through a different dimension. <laughs> the other four members of Team Yuri Otogi Damn it, is he gonna get so hit with, like, practically the same attack? To anything without me and my gifts. The Come on, cool, bar. The, box, the Banshee Shriek, all specially tailored by little old me. <laughs> this guy is low key like the brains of the whole team. <laughs> I know where this one's going. Kuwabara's out of the ring and won't be back in 10. The winner's Aji. No, come on. Are you are you serious right now? Is he going to be back at the original arena again? Dude! What? Of all the places, why do they keep sending me here? Why don't you drop your tired act and lose the disguise? You won't be fooling anyone else with that crappy mask. Hmm? Disguise? I don't know who you are, but you're no old man. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm not the kind of person who will underestimate you based on false age. Damn, Genkai. By there for such an ugly worn past its prime body. You're the first to notice. I even masked my own energy. 
You see, disguise is one of my favorite hobbies. <laughs> to be brutally honest, there are few things I find more repulsive than old people. That mothball smell that hovers around them makes me absolutely wretch. That's <laughs> why I chose this getup. I thought wearing the skin of something I abhorred would all the more fuel my rage. Oh, God, he's a clown? Thank goodness, free at last. Oh, a few more minutes smothered under that mask and I might have got real wrinkles. I plan to die while I'm still handsome before I show any signs of aging. It's the price artists have to pay, a harsh fake to accept. My image is my greatest masterpiece, and that is how I plan to live on as a legend eternitas. I'm relying on all of you, the fans that witnessed my art, to recount it to the generations and keep me alive. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on the master of a thousand faces and tricks, the one, the only, the beautiful, Suzuki! Suzuki? <laughs> it's not Onji? The decrepit Onji is transformed into Suzuki with an otter. Better make that interesting wardrobe selection on his part. <laughs> Yo, that guy's leaking. That was freaking sweet. I've already told <laughs> you to put a beautiful in front of my name. You it's said very it. important. <laughs> so, um, you think you might be ready? Yes, let's shut this jerk up. Right, let the battle begin. <laughs> You're feeling so confident because you managed to defeat my front man. But while I did teach him everything that he knew, I didn't teach him everything that I do. Don't even think of using that same energy borrowing stunt on me. For that to work, you have to lock onto its exact wavelength. And as you're no doubt discovering, I can disguise that as well. Okay. Let's see what you got, buddy. You're frustrated. Bozo. You sense how I have so much energy, but you can hone in on it. Marvel at my art as I unleash my palette. I call this one. Rainbow, Rainbow Cyclone. Cyclone. Damn. Oh, Genkai. It seems Suzuki. Uh, I mean, it seems the beautiful Suzuki has blasted Genkai with his gorgeous Rainbow Cyclone, and he didn't just knock her to the wall. He knocked her right smack through it. <laughs> Genkai's emerged from the rubble unharmed. There's not even a scar or a deep bloody gash on this woman. Not that that makes the beautiful Suzuki's beautiful attack any less beautiful. Forgive me if I'm not impressed. I know you play by higher standards, but at least give me credit for the gnomes. Wait, what did she do? If I'd had more time, oh, she took his big ugly grin <laughs> his red too. nose. But when'd you do that? Naturally, my eyes could follow every inch of Genkai's movement. I saw the whole thing, too. Uh, Kuwabara! And only 500 seconds too late to matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where was that guy I was fighting? I wasn't done yet! <sighs> Why, it won't take more than these two bare wrinkled fists to knock that sissy makeup right off your face and onto the concrete right next to your rubber nose. So come on, kiddo! No matter what you throw, I promise not to use any weapon other than my own muscles to bound the beauty out of you. I'm not scared of an old lady. If you're not using your spirit power, then neither will I. The girl's got nothing on me. Yeah, okay. Welcome to you the keep Mario telling yourself Evil that. Damn. Damn, Genkai! Wow, she's amazing! And the fact that he's substandard doesn't help him much. You see? Yeah, he was kind of a letdown. Kai is giving him the business. That's enough. Oh, I forgot.
not to look at that so-called beautiful face of his. <laughs> there you go, Genkai. You okay? It seems beautiful Suzuki, who has a remarkably firm touch, is pretty much incapacitated making Genkai the winner! See, there was no one worth wasting my energy on, so I had the bad guys reveal their weaknesses so Genkai could knock them down. <laughs> More like you I love the way he gets around you, Kina. After you like someone always does. <laughs> hey, that stone, you take that back, sis! Just the truth, bro. Well, no one cares! Actually, I'd like to hear it. Stay out of this, shorty! Now, children, behave! I'm leaving. It took all of us working as a team to make it this far. Where are you going? Greetings, old friend. I have to talk to you soon. I know you do. I want to know their history. With Yusuke still recovering, his team has advanced to the Dark Tournament's final round. But what can Taguro and Genkai have to discuss? And will the team be prepared for their final challenge? What's going on, everyone? Um, I obviously am not sitting in front of my computer right now. Um, I had to quickly run out to get my daughter from the bus stop at the end of uh, watching episode 50 with y'all. So um, I wanted to do a quick thoughts video uh, here and now uh, while it's still mostly fresh in my mind. Um, uh, overall, I like that episode, but the fight was not nearly as hype as I thought it would be. Um, I thought that Kulbara getting sent back to the other arena was kind of kind of bullshit actually because he already let that happen to him once i was kind of disappointed in him that he'd let that happen again but i don't know he's still the man so that's that's okay i guess as long as he brings it in the next round against team taguro uh that's really all i really care about um but uh it turns out that uh uh onji i think they said his name was he was actually a clown named suzuki and uh he really wasn't all that hot shit uh, Genkai was able to defeat him very easily, basically without using any sort of energy at all. She just was using regular straight physical attacks and was able to pretty much, uh, fuck him up. So, that was pretty cool. Uh, overall I liked the episode, but, uh, I can't wait to move on from this round. Uh, well, not, this round is technically over, but I can't wait to move on to the next round and see what's gonna happen with, uh, that fight. Because, um, that's what I've really been looking forward to. I'm assuming the uh, next round is against Toguro. Um, but uh, yeah, the episode ended off though with Genkai having to talk to Toguro and uh, Toguro saying that like he needs, to, he has something to tell her or something. And, uh, and that's very interesting. I'm wondering what that's all about and uh, if they're going to go into maybe their backstory a little bit. But overall, I like the episode. It was pretty good. And uh, I can't wait to see what else happens. So. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section if you haven't already like and subscribe until next time. I'm chronic gamer peace